Hey, I recorded our conversation last night. You, you mind if I play it back for us? Why in the hell did you feel the need to record our conversation? Because I want you to hear what you said to me last night because I know you're going to deny it. The fact that you felt the need to record me is a huge red flag in the first place. I agree it's a red flag. Red, red flag for who though? For me, obviously, because if you felt the need to record me, that means you, you don't even trust what you have to say. Your memory is shot. A red flag for you? Because I record you so you to prove that you that you lie? That recording is more about you than it is about me. Because I haven't recorded you. Because I don't lie to you. I don't that you don't have a reason to record me. I could have recorded the last time you were beating on me and yelling and screaming at me and throwing stuff at me. Because you triggered me by talking about my grandma that passed away. What the what? So I triggered you by telling you the truth. But you didn't you didn't feel the need to record that, did you? Why would I record myself? Exactly, because it's all one-sided. What? What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware narcissist Lee Hammock, the diagnosed narcissist from TikTok that brings awareness to narcissistic personality disorder, NPD, validate the victims and survivors of said disorder, and look, we're getting more and more people to open up about their mental health and get into therapy, which is... <laughs> This series right here is dedicated to taking my TikToks and my YouTube shorts and this is making them longer. We get 60 seconds on TikTok where I have over a million people that follow me over there. Bring it to YouTube, make them longer, get more in-depth into things like that, more in-depth explanations. The one you just watch is just an example of gaslighting and manipulation. Simple. And how, rec how recording a narcissist could help you, or just recording conversations um, and interactions with people that you think are narcissists can help you remain sane and keep your and stay out of gaslighting. Because the role of when I was playing the role of the narcissist in that in that take right there, that's easy for me to do, y'all. Like gaslighting is like second nature to me. I know people ask me all the time, like, does gaslight do people know that they're gaslighting? Yeah, no, look, we know we are lying. We we a narcissist knows that they are lying. Point blank period. We will say and do, you know, we will say and do whatever it takes to get you off of the point. To get you off of that target that you're sitting on, that you're oh, the target that you're hovering over, that uncomfortable, that accuse, that true accusation that you have on us right now, those screenshots, that photographic proof, we will say whatever it takes to get you off of that point. We'll bring your mom up, your dad up. We'll bring up issues that you will bring up your insecurities that you told us about when you were younger. All this stuff will be brought up in the conversation. And we talk about how you don't trust us. Like if you just trust me, life would be a lot easier. Like, if you didn't go through my phone, we'd be perfectly happy right now. You know what? I don't know if I can ever forgive you for going through my phone and breaking, up, breaking this trust we have. What? the? And y'all believe in that. Y'all listen to that. Record these conversations. Play them back. Like, in that view right there. Like, use discretion when, you, when you're recording people. And, look, I don't know if you feel more comfortable letting them know that you're recording them. But a lot of people don't want to be recorded. And they will gaslight you just like I did in that skit right there. But if you feel comfortable, like if you feel like recording someone can help you remain sane and stand in your truth, then you might need to record someone, you know, secretly. Put your phone in your pocket, hold it upside down, lay it on the counter or something like that to protect your peace and protect your truth. Because people lie. Gaslight you. I didn't say that. You didn't. You remember what you said to me yesterday? You, called, you said my mom was a dirty flea bag, whatever. I did not say that to you. I would never. I love your mom. I would never say that about your mom. You go back and play the recording from me yesterday. Your mom's a dirty flea bag, whatever. You hear me say it. You hear the narcissist say it. You have your truth. The gas. That's the only way you get out of the gaslighting is you get away from it or you stand in your truth. Record things. Record it. You don't have to let them know you record it. And I, I'm not saying record it to use in court or anything like that. Because some states, they have to know that you're recording them. You have to let them know that you're recording them if you want to use it in court. Some states is just the one party. I just can't. I, I only I have to know. Some states are two party. Um, look that up if you're going to use that type of stuff in court. But you have to like stand in your truth and your knowledge and things like that because if you don't, you're going to be, you're going to be in for a wild, wild ride. I promise you. You know what I mean? So people have to be able to stand in their truth. People have to be able to realize what they're going through and what they're, you know, the things that they're going through and the things that they are, are dealing with. So recording things helps you remain true. Don't let them talk you out of recording. I think, why did you record me? You don't trust me. You don't love me. Get out. Huh? Y'all get out too. Y'all be getting out. Because they tell you to get out because you don't trust them because you recorded them. They tell you to get out, so you get out. What? You know it don't work that way, right? Stand in your truth. You have more power than you think you have. 
Realize that you, you realize that you have more power than you think you have. Realize you have more strength than you think you have. Here. And also, recording things helps. Writing things down helps as well. Writing things down, journaling helps, y'all. Journaling helps out so much because journaling, if they do leave you, if they do cheat on you and leave you, if you leave them and they try to gaslight you and manipulate you and love bomb you to come back, you can look at that journal and realize what they said and what they did to you. September 25th, September 24th, 2021. Lee said he was, he hated my guts. He hated my soul. I was a terrible parent. I was a terrible person. He doesn't know why he was with me. He said, I'm the scum of the earth. September 25th, Lee said he loves me and I want to be back with him. What? You see, what, what about the 24th? Read the 24th. Go back and reread the 24th. Y'all be reading the 25th like... <sighs> He said he loved me, so he just made it. the rest of the stuff went away. No, love is more, love is an action. Love is really a, love is an action, y'all. It's just not words. People are like, well, you tell, you, they told me they love me. How are they are they showing you that they love you, or are they showing you they showing you that you are expendable? Because people, so y'all gotta realize, oh, Lord, I know people are gonna say like, hey Lee, you don't really understand that because you don't understand what love is. Like, okay, cool. I don't understand what love is. You know what I mean? If that's what it takes for people to say and for people to do. I don't understand. I don't understand it. And whatever. So, stand in your truth. Record people if you need to. And on the other end of the spectrum, if a narcissist records you, say, hey, if they look at you and say, hey, look, just, just, just so you know, I'm recording this conversation. That's to make you uncomfortable. That's to make you slip up, forget your words, and be nervous. But you should not feel nervous telling the truth to them. You should not feel nervous telling them the truth. They want you to feel nervous. They want you to feel like a certain type of way. They want you to feel that way. But you do not have to feel that way. They want you to feel that way. They want you to throw, knock you off of the path. Knock you. They want to knock you off of the course. They want to make you feel uncomfortable in doing the things that you're doing. Hey, I'm recording you just so you know. I'm, I am recording you. This conversation is recorded just because you like to get off topic. You like to get off track. You like to go talk. You like to talk in circles. I'm just recording you so you know. So I just so I can play it back to you, let you hear, you, hear yourself. That's to make you nervous. You should not be nervous telling the truth to somebody. So they're going to record you. You can either choose to talk to them in a calm manner um, and not get nervous or uh, not talk to them at all. Or the recording can be used against you later on because they love, narcissists love to record you when you're acting out of character. So they are talking junk to you. They, they'll be talking junk to you, playing with you, messing with you, triggering you. He's constantly tricking you all day. And guess what? Finally, you explode. Finally, you snap. Finally, you start yelling and screaming. You throw a toaster at me. And guess what? You didn't realize I was recording you. I got you on, I got you on camera throwing a damn toaster up at me. And guess what? If you leave me, I'm going to post it all on Facebook. Guess what happens? If you leave me, I'm going, if you leave me, guess what happens next? I'm not just, I'm going to post this on Facebook. Everybody's going to see this. Just so you know. Everybody's going to know how you are. I'm gonna, and I'm going to show this to the courts and take the kids from you. So now they use that as blackmail as well. So watch when they are recording you. Your reactions are your powers. If they can trigger you, they can control you. If they can get you to react, they can control you. Stand in your truth. Stand in your power. And don't be gaslit, y'all. Get away from the gaslighting. No gas, no more gaslighting in 2021. Anyways, y'all, I got to hop off of here. got got my last one-on-one -on -one of the day coming up. A little 30-minute sesh. I really truly appreciate everybody. I'm thankful for y'all. Mental illness is out. Peace.